Hi, we're Ryan and Kirsty, and we're currently travelling full-time all over the UK and Europe in our motorhome with our dog Lottie. In 2022 we quit our jobs and sold our house to embark on the biggest adventure of our lives so far. Come and join us on our van life travels. Welcome back to Three as a Bed. Welcome back. <laughs> it's been a long time. It has. It's been we've had a few weeks at home since we went to Wales. Just like catching up with everyone. Yeah, it's been nice seeing family. It's been really nice. Uh, yeah, it's been six months since we started this trip. So yeah, it was it was nice. Relaxing, taking some time off, no camera. Yeah, it's been good. Yep. Um had lots of upgrades on the van as well. Yes, and preparing for this trip, getting everything ready. So yes, we are currently in Folkestone. Beautiful sunny yeah. Folkestone. Wow. Literally don't know anything about Folkestone. We've only been here to just literally go on the Euro Tunnel um, when we started a few months ago. Did not realise that it has such a beautiful beach. Can't really see too much from up here, but the water is so blue. Yeah, it's a pebbly, sand, uh, pebbly beach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks so nice. It's it's lovely, like way more lovely than I realised. Yeah, definitely. We are here to pick up <laughs> Lottie's animal health certificate. Yes, we're going to go pick that up in a sec. Um, it's just at a place called Abbey Well Vets, which is literally just a few minutes into the town from here. Um, yeah, and it's only a few minutes from Folkestone. Uh, from the Euro Tunnel. Yeah, so we're not far now. Um, so yeah, uh, we're back. We're back. Excited we're to take you on our European adventures again. So we're going to be hopefully doing Scandinavia this time. Yeah. Play so Denmark, Sweden, a little bit of Finland possibly, Norway. If all goes to plan. So yeah. So yeah. So there will be a subscribe button here. Please subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notified when we upload. Yeah. So hopefully we've got months and months and months more yeah. travels to share with you yeah so. and we're going to try and film as much as possible yeah, just back on it our daily what we do daily living in the van full-time yeah. full-time traveling working as well try and explain more what we do for work as mm -hmm. well and what we do day to day yeah. yeah just try and bring you into our lives a bit more really yeah definitely I feel like yeah we've been traveling for six months now we were completely new to YouTube had no idea we well, still have no idea what we're doing pretty much <laughs> But now we've had that, those few months of practice, we really want to try and get a lot better at this. So we're really going to try our best on this trip to share as much as we can with you um, and make it look really beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, that's the goal. We're going to try and get better at this YouTube stuff this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we will also leave a link. I'll put it on the screen just here for our website. Information about everywhere we go, just helpful tips on if you're living in a van, what we do for work, places we go, how to get there, where to stop. We can also buy some stickers. So we have got some stickers now if you do want to have a look. Yeah, so that will all be a link in the description and I'll put it on the screen now, which is freezerbird.com. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to go head off to get Lottie's animal health certificate and we will explain a little bit more about that as well. Yeah. Okay, we had to go and pick up Lottie's animal health certificate. Uh, vets called Abbeywell Vets which is actually in Folkestone uh, and the reason that we use these is because um, well firstly they're a lot cheaper than what our own vet was um, so it cost £99 for Lottie's Animal Health Certificate I think we paid like over £150 from our own vets last time so yeah £99 is um, a really good price because um, we had quotes even more expensive than what we paid the first time from our own vets so the price can vary loads uh, so this one was 99 pounds looked on a facebook group about animal health certificates and i saw lots and lots of people recommending this place so hundreds and thousands of people were, have been there to get their animal health certificates so that's why we chose them it was an online process so you go onto their website search for, um, they've got a, like a section about animal health certificates and they explain how you can get one so you do the whole process online you have to put some information in about your dog or your pet um, you have to send if you've had an animal health certificate before 
you have to send pictures of certain pages of the animal previous animal health certificate I think that speeds the process up a bit so that's what we did so yeah really easy I started the process a few weeks ago to make sure we had plenty of time you put in the date you want to collect it and then they come back to you with an email to confirm whether they can or can't do it um, so yeah and they also will send you a payment link as well so you can pay online so really really simple process so I did it all online paid the £99 um, selected today as my collection date um, and then we've literally just been there so we're just parked in Folkestone now a few minutes away um, and it was literally in there for two minutes they um, have to scan you have to take your pet in with you because they have to scan the microchip just to confirm that and then they get you to just sign a little bit of the paperwork and that's literally it so it's such an easy process so what I'm doing now is just checking our new one against our old one it's not that I don't trust them because I know that they do it lots but just just in case while we're here just in if anything pops up that I need to um, run in and go and ask them about I can do while we're here then so but they're also not far from the Euro tunnel as well so and I do know that they um, do emergency ones as well so if you get to the Euro tunnel and you've got a problem with your animal health certificate from your own vets that you've chosen I do know that they can do emergency situations as well so that's good to know um, that's a bit more expensive so it's worth just having a look at that if you need it um, so yeah that was um, Abbey World Vets in Folkestone so I'm just checking all the paperwork now uh, but hopefully that should all be okay and good to go tomorrow that's the animal health certificate all checked over it's all looking okay I think compared to our old one um, so hopefully that should all be okay for tomorrow so for now we are heading off to a supermarket just to get some last minute essentials, the essentials. stocking up on everything hot noodles essential garlic hot chocolate essential Things we couldn't find beans anywhere in Europe, could we? We did, but not the same. Yeah, as well. it wasn't the same as Heinz and Branson, so beans, yeah, mustard. And the main one, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. can't go wrong with all this Can't go all this time in Europe again without Nando sauce. Yeah, good shot. Morning! So it's finally the day we go to the Euro Tunnel. It is. I felt excited. Didn't really sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, before we just show you where we stayed, so it's literally it's the park and ride for Canterbury. Can Canterbury, yeah, the Canterbury Park and Ride. Uh, so it's only four pounds for the day, and then another four pound for the evening. So it's eight pound for twenty-four hours. We was here longer than twenty-four hours. A little bit over yesterday. Yeah, and, and we're still eight pounds. Still eight pound. Uh, but you also get your free park and ride into Canterbury for that. Uh, they have toilet waste, water, and grey water emptying. Mm -hmm. So literally just everything you need. But it is only a car park. But it is. Literally Peaceful, in. It's yeah. Nice. Loads of other campers coming and going, so it's obviously a popular spot for people um, going to the Euro Tunnel. Yeah, so it's only thirty minutes from the Euro Tunnel, uh, so it is a great place to stop. Yeah, really we cheap. Did, we did walk into Canterbury as well. Um, it took us about forty minutes. To walk yeah, there. yeah, half hour, forty yeah. minutes for a walk. So it's not too far of a walk if you do mm -hmm. want to walk either. But yeah, you do get your free bus with it as well. Yeah. So yeah, really, really good, but yeah, excited, so let's get to the Aura Tunnel. <laughs> We've just got through the first uh, check-in point where you get your little hanger. Heading to the pet reception now. 
fingers crossed, everything's okay with the animal health certificate. All done. So really, quick. Really easy. <laughs> We're getting the tunnel an hour earlier as well, so that's good. Yeah, so it does make use of getting here a little bit earlier. You do usually yeah. tend to get on an earlier Both train. Both times we've been, we've managed to get on an earlier one. And when we was going home, to be fair, from France yeah. as well, we managed to get on an earlier one. So. Yeah, have time. If you've got time, especially if we just get up early and just get here, then everything's done then. But yeah, you do get on an yeah. earlier one. So that was very fast. That was the quickest one yet. Quickest one yet. Literally, after we spoke to you, when we checked lot in, I think we had about 20 minutes, half an hour till they said proceed. Passport control, straight through. They didn't ask any questions. Didn't search us. They didn't even check gas. They just pulled us one side and said, have you turned your gas off? And I said, yes. And they said, okay, carry on. They always check gas. Uh, they always ask us a hundred questions million questions as well about whether this is our motorhome yeah they never believe us and they pull us over and they usually get in and check it haven't done that this time yeah so, so no checks no fridge checks no nothing literally just passed our passports done it went to french side stamped it done it that's it and now we're just Unless waiting we're speaking too soon and there's still another thing we have to go through no th this so. is it no this is it we're just uh just waiting to board first stop is we're going to near Rotterdam. We're going to see some friends uh, and then to Amsterdam to see some more friends as well. So yeah, so we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> on the lawn chair in all the colours Summer So that's it, we are in France, we're off the Euro Tunnel, um, back in Europe, yeah. and it feels really good, doesn't it? Yeah, gotta try and remember to drive on the right hand side. Yeah, important yeah. thing to remember to drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's really easy when you get off the tunnel, if you've never done it before, the tunnel's so easy, it's the best way oh, it's, to go. It's so, so easy. Like, so when you get this off... This is the easiest time that we've had it done it as well it was just like yeah. really straightforward I mean, it's just a, it's a tuesday morning today we got the 20 past nine train really good time it's quite quiet not busy and when you get off in france you've got petrol stations just right at the other end a couple of shops and then you're straight onto the motorway yeah uh, and it's the main motorway out of calais so you can literally go anywhere you want and we're just straight on the motorway now we're going as fast as we can to holland netherlands and we've already crossed into Belgium. Yeah, we've only been driving for maybe half an, half an hour. hour. Yeah, already crossed the Belgium border. Good man. Yeah, I think we've got a little sign coming up here. Maybe you won't see it much. But so is this Belgium now? There it is. Yeah, the signs have changed language. So we are now in Belgium. Another country, another country to stick off the list. You've never yeah. been to Belgium. Oh, you've been to Belgium before. I've been to Belgium before. Yeah, um, I've not. New one for you as well, Lucy. New country. <laughs> so yeah, Belgium's a quick flying visit straight through onto Holland. And one thing we've never really spoke about is our sat nav. It's been absolutely brilliant. But the best thing we found is when you're driving on foreign roads, if you're not sure on the speed limits. This automatically changes it into miles per hour and it knows uh, what the speed limits are for which bit of your road. Whereas me, in France and everywhere across Europe, it's kilometres per hour. So you see like 120, you're like, okay, I've got to try and work out without looking at your speedo too much. So I don't really look down. But whereas on the sat nav, it'll tell you what speed you're doing and what road the speed limit is for in miles per hour, which I think is really, really good. That helps us a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got the Garmin camper sat nav where you can put your dimensions in. Uh, so it'll only take you on road specifically that you will fit down, which has been really, really good. So some of the roads you'll see people trying to go down in campers is ridiculous. Nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, it's an absolute nightmare. So yeah, get yourself a proper 
campus at now. They're so good. Yeah. They're, they're worth the extra money by the far. Like, yeah, by far worth the extra money. So yeah, we'll probably do a full review. We've been using it for like over six months now, uh, full time. And yeah, it's been brilliant. From the UK to France, from France to Belgium, and from Belgium to the Netherlands, and yeah. there's not been any border crossings at all. So yeah, four crossings in about four hours. It's yeah. crazy how many countries. Once you actually get into Europe, how many countries you can like, cross through in such a small amount of time. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, we are not far away now from um, Paul and Mary, who we're going to be going to visit. And they live um, just outside of Rotterdam and we met them on our first day um, in France six months ago, the first time we came to Europe and now we're seeing them on our first day in Europe again. <laughs> yeah, while we're driving through um, the Netherlands, we're going over like loads of bridges, crossing and over loads of islands, yeah. there's absolutely loads of wind turbines, it looks really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. Just like, you just said you've seen loads like horses in the water, didn't you? Yeah, like this, obviously passing through loads of water and there was loads of like horses at the side of it, all in the water and stuff. Yeah, it's really, flat. really um, flat here as well. Yeah, obviously Holland's really flat, Belgium's really flat. And yeah, we just start passing over loads of little islands, so random. I don't think we'll be doing any mountain climbing anytime soon. No, no mountain, yeah. <laughs> the next few countries are very flat countries. Um, so yeah, Netherlands is looking really and nice so far and we are looking forward to showing you around a little bit more. And tell me all that you've seen, all the colours, some Is, so we're just having a private tour of Rotterdam Port from Paul and Mary. It's been nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's been really cool. It's been nice to just see it from like a local's point of view. We just climbed up this tower. It gives you views all the way over. Tell the truth real fast And then we're probably done at last Cause I got somewhere to be And you're done So we've just come back from our little tour with Paul and Mary uh, So it's been really good They're so nice, literally so nice aren't they? They're the best, best people ever They really are Paul's cooked some dinner yeah, Paul's cooked dinner. See Getting that ready for us. Yeah, but uh, someone had an accident. What happened, Lottie? Lottie oh. threw up all over Ryan in the car. Literally. All over me. It's literally dried, sick all over me now. Luckily Brian managed to catch most of it on himself so it didn't actually go on the car which was good. Yeah. Yeah we went out in their car I felt so guilty but literally I tried to catch as much as I, I could. It was, it was, it's quite warm. It's really warm. Um, she had drank she, some she'd water. just been running around we took her out for a bit her out for a bit of a walk before when she'd been running around so she got a bit too hot i think and um, they fed her some 
treats that I don't think agreed with her either when we got here. So I think it was just a mixture of all that because obviously she travels in our van all the time, all the time and she's fine. So yeah. I think it was Soon just a we got in the car. But yeah, she was a nightmare. But yeah, so now to get out of these sicky clothes and go and have some dinner with Paula Mary. <laughs> Thanks, Lottie, for embarrassing us. I know. Absolutely embarrassing. She's a nightmare. I'm deceiving me into thinking I couldn't do better. Yeah, I know I was probably crazy thinking someday you'd change. There's nothing left to do now, so I'm playing the game. And so, heartbreaker, I've been working you out. You may lose a mistake, but none that you talk about. I'm watching every move you make, and I'm on to you. Come on, heartbreaker, give in and surrender to me. should have probably let me go but you've got a porcelain ego we left paul and mary this morning and we have driven about an hour away to amsterdam because we're meeting some other friends in amsterdam a bit later on this afternoon yeah we had such a good time didn't we it had was the best so time nice. with paul and mary it was such a nice time so so we'd only met them like once before yeah. six months ago yeah and we've kept in touch since then um and they kept saying about how much they'd like to meet up again so when we were sort of coming this way we was like right we've got to go and see them so yeah it was it was so nice um so they live in a place called um go on Hellefort Hell of it, Slouse. Hell of it, Slouse. Yes, something like that. <laughs> Sounds about right. Good accent. Yeah. Um, we'll put it on the screen. Yeah, It'll be will, here. Yeah. A place where if you're coming to the Netherlands, like us, you'd probably never You'd never be there. It. Like, we haven't heard of it. When you think about the Netherlands, you generally just think of uh, maybe like Amsterdam or Rotterdam, really. Yeah, and the bigger cities. But and yeah. The bigger cities. So this was about half an hour outside of Rotterdam. Mm -hmm. Uh towards the front side so you hit it before you get to Rotterdam anyway but yeah it was yeah. so nice yeah we sat down had a lovely meal uh yeah they, Paul cooked us at like a um Indonesian feast there was just yeah, so, so much, much food and it was all vegetarian as well and it was really really nice wasn't it yeah really nice it was so nice tried so many things that I haven't tried before and um, so that was really nice um before that they did take us out to the port um, yeah, which is the biggest port in Europe. Yeah, they, they said it definitely used to be the biggest port in Europe. They're not sure if it still is. It's definitely um, first or second. It was, um, and it really is huge, isn't it? Massive. The ships were absolutely huge. Absolutely so, massive. To the port, uh, we had dinner, and then Paul, because Mary's broken her leg, unfortunately. In um, Norway, yeah, falling over on a glacier. Broke it a few weeks ago in Norway, so she <sighs> couldn't really get up and out with us um, too much. So Paul took us out into the old town after dinner and showed us around there, and that was really lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, really, really nice. Uh, it was just, it was like a proper tour guide. Yeah, so we filmed bits of it. We'll put it in somewhere. You've probably already watched it. We'll put a little montage yeah, of we'll it. Put, it up, put everything. We didn't want to film too much. Really, yeah, while we didn't were want to with intrude them. with them too much. Um, but we filmed what we could. Um, but yeah, it was so cool. Like it's saying, the buildings. A lot of it was destroyed in the war because it was heavily bombed mm -hmm. in the war. Uh, cause basically, Hitler built the Atlantic Wall, which he wanted to span across to block the British out. So there's just loads of uh german world war ii bunkers mm. just still there all the way along the coast and you can see where they all was and you can see uh, i think there's world war ii cannon mm. just overlooking out to sea yeah it was so cool yeah it, it was, was it was a really really cool place yeah. totally unexpected because we yeah. didn't know really anything about the place we had like no expectations at all and it was really really lovely thank you so much for watching our return to europe video we really really hope you've enjoyed it yes i returned to youtube also so hopefully hopefully you liked it we did try a little bit harder we did we tried to film a bit more of everything that was going on um yeah 
and that obviously these few days wasn't planned either so we're back on plan mm -hmm. back on track and we are heading to scandinavia which we're so excited for literally yeah. so excited can't, can't wait, wait to take you along and yeah. show you more so over the next few months we've got so much planned so many amazing places to go to so if you want to see more of our full-time van life uh, travels then please do subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it yeah and if you do have any recommendations for scandinavia uh just drop them into the comments yeah we'd yeah. really appreciate any ideas so yeah leave us a message in the comment that'd be great yeah brilliant right i'll see you next time bye